What do you think of the people, the humans, that dare quit after 100 trades of value betting? Well, it depends. Like, if I were following you as a tipster, you were unknown, your record was unproven and everything. I mean, 100 bets, it's easy to get result oriented. But in the grand scheme of things, like, we did some calculations earlier just to see, like, okay, so let's say you start with $1,000 and you stake 50... Did I put, no, 20, 30, 20, 25, 25, yeah. 25 uh, a, a game and you have a, we know for sure here you have 3% return you're still losing after 400 trades after 33 like around one third of the time mm. and 400 bets is like an okay amount of trades that's being placed in a month Yeah. so uh, making up your mind after 100 bets is too low Yeah. Uh, what I think of them I mean uh, I their choice. I uh, I think it's a bad decision, but yeah. uh, I'm not the one who's going to say like, oh, they're stupid to do so. Mm. As, as long as they're staking appropriately and uh, yeah, then it's just variance that wasn't on their side. Yeah. Do you think there's like a, a trade number that you would want to get to before you start actually making logical assumptions as to how you're performing? Like, would you say after a thousand trades, it's like, and I'm doing, not doing very well, is like, has variance played out then? It's just still, it's a very hard thousand trades sounds like a lot, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not that much. No, it's and not. Uh, you can imagine yourself if you're staking, even if you're staking like a thousand dollars, you're turning over, uh, you're turning over one million and your expected earnings would be. 20,000 if you have 2% edge. Yeah. 30,000 if you have 3. If you're, however, down or if you're up 10,000, you're unlucky. But it's also very easy to be lucky here and be up 100,000. Mm. So it's people kind of get blinded by their own success. If you start to run bad and then you kind of get up and it goes up and down, up and down, up and down, and you're all of a sudden you are down 10K after 1,000 trades. Yeah. It's going to happen. And I don't know the chance of it happening, but I reckon it would be around seven eight percent so um or with two percent maybe even higher like twelve percent and that's yeah. a thousand trades yeah and it happens to one out of ten people that places it so mm. yeah i think it, i don't know i was saying this before i think it just comes down to people not being informed and not understanding what they're what they're signing up for basically like you're not you're not signing you're not doing value betting to do it for a week or a month or a hundred trades um and expecting a return there like obviously that would be nice that's ideal that's what everyone wants everyone wants the results everyone wants profit but that's not really the aim no but you can't really blame people either because like go on social media today go on search for tips football tips on google mm. and you're gonna get all this like tipsters yeah that's giving away value picks and uh, might not record all of their record all their bets and they show like insane winning streaks and insane returns that's just not achievable no like for five years now five months i had like a lot of volume and i was able to run at uh nine percent if i picked like my best month in there i would probably beat their volume even though if their volume was over five years or maybe even 10 years in that month mm -hmm. if if i took every single trade and my best month there was probably returning over 20 percent yeah so <laughs> it's just like it's so easy to be result oriented here and with all the scammers out there it's yeah it's kind of a reason why people are being skeptical and extremely result oriented because it looks like yeah this is just like whenever you bet you're gonna win nine out of ten times yeah but it's not the reality and that's like yeah thanks to all these like scammers out there mm. how many how many trades do you reckon you made in that year well i i have the answer in in sport market yeah but sport markets trades is not correct because if i place the trade on betfair one trade might say like 150 trades mm. so i'm not saying it's always 150 usually it's like 10 or 11 or something like that yeah but it's just very hard to figure out like what's the exact amount of trades i was placing but it's thousands and thousands like it's it's, it's not it's um a lot. it's not a hundred trades and then looking at your no, statistics. no no like i probably did close 
I'll do 100 trades each Saturday, and then like, or maybe a bit, yeah, maybe I did 100 trades on a Saturday and, or 70 to 80 trades on Saturday, 70 to 80 trades on a Sunday, Yeah. less on weekdays. Like I covered all leagues and everything in all sports. Mm. So, um, yeah, it was a lot. <laughs>